Today, precision-dependent function of human sequence-specific transcription factors. Like learning a language, understanding how our DNA regulates the expression of genes requires knowledge of both the words or transcription factor binding sites and their positional logic or grammar. Considering each transcription start site within a promoter or enhancer, we found that many transcription factor binding sites, such as SB1 here, or globally for all sites there, occur in highly preferred positions relative to the transcription start sites, often with this 10 base pair helical periodicity. This begs the question, are all transcription factor binding sites created equal? To address this, we knocked down transcription factors as shown for NF1 here, and captures changes in these nascent TSS using CSRNA-seq. Sorted by the TSS, you can see that those promoters and enhancers that had an NF1 motif, or this red dot, downstream were actually activated upon knockdown of these canonical activators, while those that had an NF1 site upstream were associated or were repressed. Therefore, the motif here is associated with activation, while the NF1 motif downstream was associated with repression. This was also found in ChIP-seq data. We next leveraged the genetic variation of mouse strains to explore the abundance of this position-dependent transcription factor function. As shown here for SP1, mutation of SP1 sites that were upstream of the TSS were associated with repression, therefore activating, while mutations of SP1 sites downstream of the TSS caused derepression and were therefore associated with repression. Showing this across all 363 transcription factors shows that there can be grouped in three big groups of repressors, such as ZAP or CBTV CMA, activators, which were mostly the X factors, but however that most transcription factors, including the AP1 factors, BZIPs, GC box factors, NFY, NF1, YY1, and many others, had dual function, or in other words, that their function was position dependent. Using our TSS EMPRA, we confirmed in an artificial setting that the position of the transcription factor binding site, as here shown for NF1, impacted the TSS. Both spacing and transcription factor binding site composition also determine transcription start site selection. For instance, here, the activity of the NF1 motif when sweeping it through this top two enhancer was influenced by this native NF1 site. When globally comparing promoters and enhancers, here limited to those with and aligned by the NF1 site revealed that one, TSS were depleted between transcription factor binding sites, consistent with their suppression function when binding downstream of the two SS. And two, the TSS were predominantly located at a preferred precision characteristic for their most three prime transcription factor. Thus, this three prime transcription factor appears to be dominant in TSS selection. Knocked down of NF1, which is the graph centered on again, caused upregulation of NF1 sites downstream, while loss of TSS in the preferred position upstream of NF1. Investigating the role of precision dependent transcription factor function across human individuals and disease showed that disease associated variants identified through GWAS, as here for the RS11122174 T loci, recapitulated position dependent transcription factor function and here summarized. In summary, this paper shows that the function of most transcription factors is position dependent, meaning that the same transcription factor can activate or repress transcription depending on its spacing relative to the start sites. That both the composition of transcription factors and their spacing collectively guides the sites and frequency of transcription initiation, and that this syntax allows for distinct regulatory outputs from similar or the same assortments of transcription factors. This also explains, of course, why it has been so challenging to predict gene regulatory programs from DNA itself. 
It also highlights that knowledge of the transcription start sites, which provides an anchor for this spatial grammar, is critical to decode gene regulatory programs. And yeah, that three-minute presentations are not always three minutes. Thank you for watching.